So over here, I got a Windows 10 operating system running, and we can go into the bottom left and enter command prompt. So once we're in command prompt, we can actually enter the ADB. So of course, ADB is being installed into this Windows operating system. And what I'll do is I'll actually enter ADB Q server because we are restarting the whole tutorial. And of course, over here, what we can do is we can enter ADB followed by devices. And of course, this would actually list down all the devices that are attached. And this would start off the daemon, especially if it's coming in fresh for the command prompt. So of course, we will use the wire that comes along with the mobile device and connect it directly into your personal computer. So once it has been connected, we'll be able to see the information and we'll see a pop-up of the file explorer telling you the storage and the SD card on the phone and the directories and so on. So here we can see that a Galaxy S10e has been connected. So again, it can work for any Android devices. So moving forward, what we will do is we can actually change the information regarding the Android device. So before we do that, we can actually go into the ADB devices. And this will show us the list of devices being attached right now into the operating system. So what we'll do next, we'll go into U drive and we'll go into SC RCPY. And of course, once we go into the folder, we can enter DIR. So this will show us the SC RCPY executable. So before we do that, we have to change the configuration of the Android debugger on the mobile device. So what we will do is we'll enter ADB devices and we can actually see all the devices that are running from the current list of attached devices. So what we'll do next is we'll enter ADB and we will actually do a change of TCP IP and we'll do into port 9999 and hit enter on that. And of course, it will start the Android device into the port 9999. And of course, what we can see here is we can actually disconnect the mobile device from the wire of the connection to the operating system. So you will see that the file explorer has been taken down. So we have disconnected that. And what we can do is we can enter ADB followed by connect followed by the IP address of 192.168.1.5 followed by the port number of 9999 and hit enter on that. So this would connect the device into your ADB or via ADB. So what we'll do is we enter rcpy.exe, hit enter on that, and this would execute. And now we are wirelessly connected into the mobile device. And you can actually do a lot more configuration directly from here. And there's a lot of other key capabilities and features that you can try it out with this mirroring. So it's not just about mirroring your Android device into your Windows computer, but there can be a lot of other functions and commands that we'll be exploring especially in terms of the Android debugger breach. So what happened is that you can actually issue commands, you can issue executions into the mobile device, and there's a lot of other very, very wonderful and really amazing features that we'll be covering over the next few tutorials. So I hope you've learned something valuable again. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you once again for watching.